Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Natal stump nose. Uh, it's one of four species that we get. So we get the Natal stump nose, white stump nose, Cape stump nose, and the big eye stump nose. Uh, Natal stump nose, Rhabdosagus saba. They obviously occur mainly in Natal. The juveniles are estuary based completely, up to about 35 centimeters or so. And then from that size, then they move out into the surf. So you're really unlikely to catch a big stumpy in an estuary, but the little ones are wild in the estuaries. They, they get to a size of about 80 centimeters, and that's a fish of about 12 kilos. Although the maximum size that's been recorded is about seven and a half, 7.7 .7 kilos which is still a very very big stumpy and the the 12 kilo maximum is more of a theoretical maximum it hasn't actually been reported yet but it's possible that they could get to that size um, in terms of catching them you are really looking at obviously for the small guys estuaries so very very light tackle for the the bigger boys in the surf sort of medium tackle and you're looking at sandbanks, rocky ledges and areas where you get quite a bit of movement so very similar to where you catch bronze bream but a little bit deeper um, they, in terms of their, their sh overall shape you're yeah, very very deep fish so from, from top to bottom uh, but not very wide uh, silver in colour with very very faint yellow lines running along them and their, their, their teeth are designed for crushing crushing the baits. So they've got these big molars and things like that. You often find, if you do fish with floats in your bait, you'll get uh, little dentition marks into the actual foam. So bait-wise, as you said, crushing teeth. So they're looking for stuff with hard shells. So your mollusks, your mussels, your anything uh, crustacean-based. So crabs they really really like crabs uh, sea lice one of their favorite baits and for me my top two baits if I'm fishing with a j-hook I do what's called a, a prawn bomb so that's where you take a single prawn split it in half all the way tie it on and you take another prawn split it in half and then you put it the opposite way around inside out so it makes like a bit of a chew that bait works very well you can throw it very far you can just lob it if you need to and it's got a hell of a lot of smell in it so instead of just splitting it you're actually cutting it all the way through to get that smell going very quickly um, and then for a circle bait i use a bait that's ray, ray showed me which is a very soft chocker bait um, which you wrap around the circle and then you put the tentacles onto the circle itself gives it a lot of movement and just it's absolutely deadly um, now a very interesting fact about stumpies they matured about 20 centimeters and all of them start as males then as they get to about two or three years of age they actually all change into females so now once they get into the breeding cycle the males are the very young ones and the females are the older fish so all your big old fish are actually all females it's a very interesting fact they actually change their sex as they go through life um, like we said earlier juveniles are in estuaries so this is another species that's very dependent on estuaries for its success and with the current state that we've got with our estuaries being very polluted heavily gill netted and overfished we're not looking very good in the future for stumpies but as long as we release the ones we can they are very nice eating so it is quite nice to keep one or two for yourself um, but yeah try and release as many as you can especially those big females they the older they are the bigger they are the more eggs they produce and the better quality egg that they produce so the big old females are the ones we really really need to protect and let go because they're the, the future of the stock in terms of guys catching them you've got rock and surf ski boat and spear fishermen they're targeted by literally everyone including the guys fishing in the estuaries so they're very heavily targeted species um, they're extremely hard fighting very good eating so it is a very high demand species but like we said try and protect them they are very sensitive to overfishing so put the ones back that you're not going to eat straight away don't stock them up and yeah get out there enjoy a very nice hard fighting fish the Natal Stumpy. Cheers! Mm -hmm.